would you rather but it's the most degenerate would you rather i have ever come up with but it's anime themed so you're opposed with two choices disgustingly hard choices and you have to think which one is the better option for you and guys just for a disclaimer all right all i ask you the viewers when you're participating with me don't do mental gymnastics there's going to be a lot of consequences a lot of cons to these choices so don't be like oh well i can just fly no you can't fly things that you will just not do ever in a million years just don't even try to do it. just try to see which one is the best choice out of two crappy situations so let's do it would you rather be in a relationship with makima but have to go on public walks as her dog or be in a relationship with s death but have to do scat play in private if you don't know what scat play is it's basically fun time in a bed but you mix poop into it you guys are voting so fast let me throw up the poll scat is peak okay stop okay okay stop go ahead and choose one for left and two for right i don't know how much pride you guys have as anime fans but are you willing to literally do puppy play time that's all i'm saying scat is disgusting as hell you might catch a disease you know why it smells right so it repels you and other animals away from it you are not supposed to be sticking that thing in your nose eating it rubbing it on yourself that's unsanitary so keep that in mind or would you rather go on public walks which ruins your whole reputation and you're just gonna be the fucking butt of like the internet for a few weeks i ain't acting like a furry in public oh see that's a decision if it was me personally oh god i mean look i'm the smash guy if someone's gonna ask me what i do as a living i'm gonna be like i smash fictional pull i don't have any shame anymore i would go on public walks with mom I'm choosing one. I don't care. So would you rather have a one night stand with any girl or boy from Naruto verse, but have to let Hidan have sloppy seconds with you right after, or have a one night stand with any girl or boy from the One Piece verse, but have Dofi have sloppy seconds with you. I'm only telling you the canon events that are going to happen. So after the sloppy seconds they have with you, whatever happened, you know, game is game for them. So Hidan, either he's going to make you your blood slave or Dofi's going to make you his you know slave in general if you don't know dofi's ability is strings puppeteering basically and he don is just he eats your blood he bites into you gets a drop of your blood and he controls your body essentially which one do you guys choose one just pick he and get two round of sadistic sweaty busting the thing is we didn't consider the height right like i said the height most of the time it probably will scale dofi dofi's how tall guys maybe he's like 10 feet tall i feel like most of you guys you guys can't even take more than four or five inches 10 is gonna go all up in there pause oh, you can't say pause afterwards when you just say something that mad sus. You know, it's definitely better in this scenario, but if you guys want Dofi, go for Dofi. Your butthole's gonna get shredded. So would you rather be in bed with Beatrice from ReZero, age 400 plus, she's a lowly. Game is game for you lolicons, all right? And it's being live streamed to your family members or friends or relatives, or would you rather be the cameraman to the video of your anime waifu and your dad doing the nasty with each other? So let's say in a world where, you know, your favorite waifu gets isekai into our world, and for some reason, your dad's giving her the pipe, and you have to be the cameraman for that. The embarrassment of banging a lolicon that looks like a child like let's just be straight up here for most people family members would be the most people that they'll be embarrassed for them to witness this type of event in your parents experience they haven't watched ReZero unless they're like a big weeb or they watch you watch ReZero right they don't know who Beatrice is they don't know she's 400 years old all they see is a little girl and you're just banging her you're gonna try your hardest to explain them they're gonna be like 400 year old child got teleported to our world and they're gonna look at you crazy I can't get NTR by my dad and Rui touchy mommy so I'm gonna have to fuck Beatrice bro and I'm gonna have to enjoy it but the repercussions afterwards Sure, you can be a lolicon or whatever, be like, I'm gonna enjoy the hell of my time. But then explaining to your family members, your relatives, your friends that this happens. So here's my thought process. Number two option. Sure, you're the cameraman, but there's a way you can record without having your father's face in the POV or your mother's, whatever, you know, your provocative is. If you have a husbando, you want to east guy to this world, fine. Not judging, you know? I still fall, not judge. So you can record in a way where it doesn't show their face. Save that video for later and then have sloppy seconds with your favorite waifu. All I say is the cameraman's option is better, but a lot of you guys, I'm not surprised you guys are lowly con, so you obviously choose one. Let's keep it moving. So, would you rather have a hologram of the Kumer content tags you recently finished to above your head for seven days after consuming that specific content? Or would you rather have a third person footage of you slapping the salami to whatever Kumer content you're consuming posted to the front page of that website, but seven days after it is erased from the internet and any databases? So let me break it down for you guys. The difficulty is finding yourself a really obscure website 
website to beat the salami too. But the thing is, it's going to be erased from the internet and database. The only thing that people can keep in mind is their brain. Even if they share, even if they download it, even if they encrypt it on a hard drive, it's going to be gone. It's just poof from this world. Thanos snap. All the other options like, okay, I'm going to need, I ain't going to go outside for seven days or not talk to my parents for seven days, which I don't know. Some of you guys already do that. If you're smart enough or rich enough, you hire someone to code a website for you, or you make your own website and just upload stuff there. And then you beat the salami on there. But I feel like most of us are incapable of either or. So you guys have to choose. Does it stack? That's a good question. Does it stack? Like what if I finish two times a day? Yeah, let's say it stacks. If you're crazy beater like that. Yeah, sure. If I'm going to be very honest in my situation, I think what would only apply to me is one. And I'll tell you guys why for me, <laughs> I'll stretch off the boat. I am immigrant to the United States of America. My parents, they don't speak that much English. So are they really gonna understand what the word, like lactation? I, I would just be like, oh no, this is just a project. This is a school project. And they'll be like, oh, okay, okay. And they'll let it slide. The only person I have to avoid is my siblings. That speaks full and fluent English. And honestly, I'll probably have a reason not to beat my shmeat. All right, I know y'all nasty motherfuckers. I feel like this is gonna be a one-sided fucking would you rather, but <laughs> all right, would you rather smash power, but she hasn't showered in a year, scat discharge all included, or smash treble from one piece, the mucus devil fruit. He might be just kind of chubby. He probably shower, but with mucus, you know, mucus is not the nastiest fluid. So you guys can choose. And it seems like you all guys are all choosing one. You guys are so gross. Like I'm not trying to be self the programmer here. You yourself need to send me a video of you eating your own scat to prove me you would choose one. Because I do not believe any of you guys. Oh, yeah, I would lick the scat clean off Power's butt. I don't believe it. You said, oh, I can make a shower before. No, obviously, that would just break the rules and you're doing mental gymnastics to avoid the consequences. No, you are going to smash her with scat and discharge. All in one. Tastes like chocolate. Look, I'm going to tell you right now, you can go ahead and reach in the toilet and take a bite of your poop. It probably does not taste like chocolate. Sure, you close your nose, you didn't taste it. Maybe you have a horrible taste palate in general. Think about the health consequences that happens afterwards. What type of disgusting STIs that she can carry with her? You're taking it so lightly, but I'm telling you right now, most of you guys see that and you smell it, you would think otherwise. Loki use a condom for two and at least treble. He has the built in, you know, lubricant. Easy slip in, easy slip out. I'm telling you right now, I don't believe any of y'all. If y'all don't send a video of you eating your own scat, y'all ain't about it. So I'm just going to assume everyone is choosing to. I don't care what the poll says. Would you rather go on multiple dates with Nami, but everyone perceive her as a lowly. So she is her, you know, adult self, post time skip self, but everyone sees her in this form walking around with you. And we're like, what the fuck is he? Do you walk around with a child? Or the second option, would you rather go on multiple dates with Blackbeard, but everyone perceive him? as an opposite gender, gender bent Blackbeard. You can be like, damn, you put her? But you know, you're actually going with Blackbeard and it's like, oh damn. Okay, and everyone's choosing one. We just go on private dates. Okay, you would honestly have to think about it like this. Let's just say three minimum dates. At the third date, she will decide to stick with you or not. Would she really just want like uh, another Netflix and chill? Like really? Like I want to go outside to the beach. I, like at the very end, she's an adventure. So she's giving you time. You're trying to bag her, right? I think that's the goal. And she would probably want some extravagant, nice, dates so bro if you ain't about your bag then you ain't about your bag and if you are about your bag you got to be okay with everyone perceiving her as a, as a lol just pretend you're nami's dad or she wants a kissy poo you're gonna be like ah, not right now you guys are gonna be tongue first treat her as your sister again these mental gymnastics these aren't dates guys treat her as your daughter treat her as your sister these aren't dates going out with your sister and going out with your date is two completely different experience and interactions just say she's a midget you can literally go up and explain to everyone or someone who confronts you be like oh she's just petite right you can explain it that way blah 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 or like she's vertically challenged blah blah Blah, blah, blah. but people that don't really confront you are gonna give you odd looks and if a friend or a family member catches you in public with her all i'm saying bro it's kind of wraps for your reputation the fuck's wrong with blackbeard kind of ugly kind of chunky he smells like alcohol probably most of the time he's probably loud obnoxious just not really an overall good compatible partner but at least people around you won't perceive him as you know blackbeard it's just gender bent blackbeard and i don't know if you guys need reference google gender bent blackbeard and you guys can make that decision there i feel like just the glaring that the eyes that people like the, the stank eye that people give you just ruined the whole experience the whole date with you know nami with blackbeard okay three date rule fine you know just suck it up he's probably gonna make a mess eating drink a lot of alcohol fucking be loud obnoxious but at least you can break up afterwards so for me, I go option two. This is an easy one. Would you rather smash Grand Fisher or would you rather smash Hanami? Pretty simple. It's whatever is your prerogative, okay? Both, I'm pretty sure, are genderless. It doesn't really matter. Hanami, a lot more structurally human. Grand Fisher on four legs, kind of hairy as well. Uh, at least you have the little dangling thing. If I pull out the stem in Hanami's eyes, there's a hole. You're not wrong. Game is game. I can't, I can't hate on that logic. All right, we go for one. Okay, this one is a... Uh, so would you rather earn a million dollars, but you have to release a video of you smashing Yachiru or have a 70K salary being Griffith's slave where he does the nasty to you anytime he wants and you're constantly on standby for him if he wakes you up at 2 p.m 
your best answer is call answer is booty call a million dollars a lot that's life-changing money you know that's intergenerational wealth but you ruined your reputation you're gonna be known as the guy who released the weird tape uh Rachiru, she's a soul reaper okay in this situation obviously real world human can't see shinigamis but let's just say in a scenario yes they can see Yachiru. So let's say for the sake of keeping the sanctity without doing mental gymnastics and avoiding the consequences of the would you rather yes they can see her in the footage how long do i have to do two until you had a million so like what's the math on that 14 years of your life don't call me a lowly con but i legitimately think a million dollars a million dollars and the thing is it's like it's a one-time thing well griff is like 14 years of your life constantly on call honestly like a booty call like maybe he wants three pumps a day I mean, you might enjoy griff's you know presence but constantly on call and you have to do what his bidding all the time like no shot going with option one that is probably the best option all right would you rather get head from vasto lorde ichigo or get head from full curse mark jugo the only thing i'm restricting within the canon event is there has to be oral that's it whatever you do afterwards is whatever you do afterwards jugo will bite it i mean you look at ichigo's vasto lorde form he has mad teeth choppers as well look in that mouth does it have a tongue is it kind of like a bony skeleton mask so at least with jugo there's tongue you see the tongue right there right look if you want to be creative about it at least vasto lorde ichigo has an extra hole for you after i'm getting the head i'm out so I, I think I'm going Jugo. Be tortured for 10 days straight by Jason from Tokyo Ghoul, but then get to immediately smash Rize. Or be summoned as a woman servant in Fate, but it's by a horn dog master who is into torture BDSM. So when a servant is summoned during the Holy Grail War, it could last a few days, a week, a few months, who knows? It's undetermined. But at least with the left option, you know it's 10 days. But it's the most excruciating torture method known to man. Because in this scenario, let's just say, so your toes are getting snipped off, they grow back, toes are snipped off, grow back, your limbs, your fingers, your extremities they're all repaired because you're ghoul right you have a centipede rolling around your ears happen to you but for 10 days straight but the payoff is you get smashed reason how strong am i as a servant if you want to fight back with your master you can't you're not allowed to harm your master. So it doesn't matter how strong you are. Either way, they have command seals. They have these markings on their hands that make you do anything that they command you to do. I've seen what Kaneki went through. There's no way, even though I, if I know the timeline, the length of I'm getting tortured, the thing that Jason did to Ken Kaneki through those days that he was tortured, I would not go through that. Just especially for some goosey. I would rather take the chance and be a servant for this horn dog master of mine. So here we have, would you rather voice act in an H anime, but have the raw files, video and audio included, leak to everyone you know exists. So like, you know the existence of Zendaya. That video gets sent to Zendaya somehow. Your family members, obviously anyone in your close vicinity, everyone that you know, that you, you have knowledge of existing. Or would you rather voice act in H anime until you retire, but only earn around 20K every year with 40 hour work weeks and no one knows it's you. So you're an anonymous voice actor with kind of like a poverty wage and you do it until retirement, which is like you work all the way until you're like 65, right? Yeah, you can get another job, but you're working 40 hour work week. And then you also have to work another job as well, doing the same monotonous work over and over and over and just doing moaning shit, like just moaning over and over until you're 65 years old. The thing is like, I don't have that much shame. I talk about smashing fictional characters with my face and me saying it, me voice acting in H anime. I just say it's my job, right? I just showed it my YouTube channel. Like this is a side gig. I'll, I'll just do that. Another pretty easy one. Um, Who do you want to get ravaged by? Uh, Kira or um, Dio? Kira, he's more of a, he's, he's muscular, but he's a lot more slender. And I think that's just for the fact that like part four designs like that in part three if we're talking about like anime to anime he's way more jacked let's just say you have your fun times with him what happens after you smash dio does he let you go off easy what happens if you smash kira does he let you go off easy or does he take off your hand turn into a vampire he could inject his fluids into you so he makes you turn to a vampire that is a possible scenario i'm seeing so then you can't go out in the sun anymore like at least as a vampire like you're not like a mutant right where like the government will hunt you down and experiment on your body you can lay low-key as a vampire either way you're dead i not necessarily Necessarily. I don't know if Dio's the type of person to kill you. Kira, for sure. If he's really attached to you, he's definitely taking your hand as a trophy. But Dio, I don't think he's that sentimental. You know, he has his fun time and just tosses you aside. He injects his fluid into you and you, you turn to a vampire. You're on your way. I'm going to say we smash Dio. So would you rather have the opportunity to smash Mikasa, but none of your limbs work from here on out? After you smash Mikasa, your arms, your legs just stop working. There's no way to repair it. Or have the opportunity to smash Annie from AOT, but never get to see again. So you're fully blind. You're not partially blind. You're not legally blind. You are blind, blind for the rest of your life. But at the same time, it's like there's a factor of Mikasa and Annie. Which one do you prefer? Call me Stephen Hawkins. Everything you do is difficult. Lifting your mouse, getting 
sinking into your chair. Who in your life is gonna constantly care for you? Just echolocate. Okay, you're not a bat, you're a human. So I don't know how you're gonna and echolocate. Replace your limbs with robo parts. Okay, sure. What money do you have to do that? You have no money? Is the technology good enough yet? You don't have to wait a few years. You might have to function without your limbs for a few years until the robot parts come out. But when they do come out, good robotic parts to replace your limb. Do you even have the money for that? I think the most rational option, like I said, Annie's not that bad either. Being blind for the rest of your life, you can still function and still move. All right, this is another pretty easy one. Would you rather smash Kano from Golden Kamui or smash Toshi from Nabaka? We have gone through a bunch of hard would you rathers that made you guys have to critically think about your own life scenario and anime itself. You guys go ahead and choose. Love me some nurse set. Well, um, sorry to surprise guys. Um, both are dudes. Um, so yeah, happy Pride Month, guys. Happy Pride Month. And that was the Would You Rather. Yep, both were men. You just smashed men. Let's go. All right, that was a good Would You Rather. Thank you for watching. As always, I appreciate everyone tuning into the stream, the YouTube video. Um, you guys haven't liked, comment, subscribe, do all that good Johnson. Peace out, YouTube.